Today, I'm gonna show you how the new button slicer works in Power BI. I know everyone is talking about this new visual, and of course, I am not the exception. So without further ado, let's do this. Hey, before we get started, if this is the first time you stop by this channel, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button if you don't wanna miss anything. So now, let's do this. For today's tutorial, we're gonna use data from YouTube. And as you can see, I have here information about Power BI content creators, YouTube channel, content creator, subscribers, and also I have here the URL. So the image URL is critical to create the image in the new button slicer. So I'm gonna show you how to do this real quick. If you go over YouTube and you type Power BI, you're gonna see here the options. We have many creators here. We have Kevin. We also have here How to Power BI. We have here also Pragmatic Works and we can keep going. So there are many content creators here and our goal is to have the image URL for these content creators. So how do we do that? I wanna show you here an example. So let's say that we wanna grab the image URL for Kevin. So let's open this option here, this channel. Once we are here, right click, copy image address. Once we do that, so you can come back to the Excel file and then copy and paste it here. Boom, there it is. So this is the first image URL and if you can see, this is the same that we have here. And I already did this, so you don't have to do it. I'm gonna share with you this file so you can follow along as well. And also you can follow the same steps for the other content creators. I'm not gonna do this again because I already have the information. The next step here is to go back to Power BI and start playing with the new button slicer. So this is the Power BI report that we're gonna be working on. And as you can see, if you go over table view, here is the table. We have YouTube channel, content creators, subscribers, and also the URL. For the URL, make sure that the data category here is image URL. So in that way, Power BI knows that this is specifically an image URL. So let's go back to report here, report view. Let's start playing. So right click, new visual or add visual. Once we are here, let's select slicer new. The next step here is gonna be, make sure that you're selecting the visual. Go over here again. For fill, so let's select YouTube channel. So now we are talking, folks. So the next step here is to customize this visual. So make sure that you're selecting the visual, go over size and style. Once you're here, what you need to do here is remove the background. Boom, we are good. Title, we don't care about title for now. Let's turn this off. Slicer settings. So let's turn single select off. And then for select all, let's turn this on. Perfect. Next step here is gonna be, let's go over shape. For shape, I like rounded rectangle. So let's do that. And then for rounded corners, how about 10 pixels? So now you are seeing here the changes, right? So now let's go over layout. For layout, I need 10 rows, just one column. And then here for space between cards, let's use just two pixels. So now this is looking a little bit better, but we are not done yet. Let's keep moving. Overflow. So this is also a really nice feature. I have here two different styles. We have the continuous scroll, which is the current one. As you can see, we have a scroll bar on the right side here but also you have another option. The other option is the paginated style. So you can select this option as well and automatically you can see a down arrow here. Once you hit that option, you can see the other channels there. If you're gonna go back, hit the up arrow, boom, you are back. So I'm gonna leave it as continuous scroll for style here. So we are good to go. Now let's keep moving. Let's go over call out values. For call-out values here, let's select the font Arial. 
and then here for label so this is something really interesting as well keep this in mind let's add data for field and we're going to select here content creator boom so now you can see here for each youtube channel we have the content creator there below so this is looking better my friends the next step is to go over images here guys is where the fun part starts default okay for default under image under field specifically let's hit add data for this particular case we're going to use the image url once we do that automatically you can see here the images there the next step here is going to be image fit is going to be just normal and then position is going to be left so now you can see here this is looking so much better so the next step here is to play with the states as you can see here we have apply settings to state we have four different states here default hover press and selected so let's get started with default for default saturation is going to be zero percent so if we're not selecting anything here we don't have any color for these visuals for these images right so this is good and then let's keep going and select hover if we hover saturation is going to be 40 percent but this is just as a reference i mean you can keep playing here with different percentages it's up to you so we are good here for hover if we go back to the visual and you hover you can see here that this is changing dynamically as well so let's keep moving and let's select press for press saturation is going to be 60 percent perfect if you press you can see there it's changing so it's going to be 60 percent saturation and then finally for selected once you select the option here saturation is going to be a hundred percent so now this is looking better and then i think we are good with image the next step here is to go over buttons for buttons we also have four different states we have default hover press and select it let's get started with default for default we don't want to see border and then for fill we are okay and then let's keep working here for hover for hover we are also good we don't want to see border fill is fine and then for press we are good here border off fill so we're going to select here a different color okay this color right here the green and then for transparency it's going to be here 60 percent and then i'm going to show you what i'm talking about here okay check this out if you press you can see the background there it's going to be green but 60 percent transparency so this is perfect so let's keep moving for the last state here is going to be selected and then for selected border is fine of fill here we need to select green the same green that we had previously and then transparency this is going to be zero percent so we are good there now let's keep playing if you select multiple options here you can see that this is working perfectly fine and then you can select all or you can also remove and then for this visual let's add here data as well for y-axis let's select content creator and then for x-axis let's select subscribers boom so my last tip here is going to be how to add tooltips to the new button slicer this is quite straightforward as you can see we have here the tooltips page i already created this page tooltip page if you don't know how to create a tooltip page i'm going to add here a link as well if you want to check it out that would be great but let's go back to the new button slicer page and here let's select the visual once we select the visual the next step is to go over properties once we are here let's turn tooltips on and here report page is fine and then for page let's select tooltips so once we do that check this out if you hover over this you can see now more details guy in a cube is going to be adam saxton you can see there the information in terms of subscribers and then you can keep playing here as well you have here microsoft power bi it's right there and also you can see my channel nestor adriansen there you have it my friends really really powerful feature in power bi released in the november 2023 power bi update so let me know what you think about this new feature let me know what you think about this new slicer and of course if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to subscribe 
if you don't want to miss anything thank you guys for your time and see you in my next tutorial